Hey guys, in this video I want to do a quick little side-by-side -side comparison review between the iPhone 6s versus the um, BlackBerry Priv. So, of course, uh, I compared them uh, in terms of speed and camera, so you can also check that video out. So, of course, if we talk about the, the price, both phones cost a lot of money, at least where I, I live. Uh, this one is still above $800, uh, BlackBerry Priv, about like 85,000 PKR. Uh, well, the iPhone 6s, the base 16 gigabyte, uh, base 16 gigabyte model will cost you around $700. So it's still pretty expensive. And uh, considering the fact that if you are going to record 4K videos on uh, using your iPhone 6s, so then definitely uh, you must buy like a 32 gigabyte variant at, at least. Otherwise, you won't be able to enjoy the full experience because of the storage, uh, because of the limitation of the storage. So, yeah, uh, both have a high price point. So we're just going to compare them side by side here. And I'm just going to give you my uh, thoughts about uh, on these two phones here. So in, in terms of build quality, you can see here iPhone, a full premium, full uh, made up of full aluminum, a little bit thicker than the iPhone 6. Uh, from the last year, uh, but it is uh, not having that bending problem or anything like that. Uh, comes with the fingerprint sensor here built into the home button. Very nice. I mean, definitely uh, where I live, this uh, iPhones have a lot of popularity, so it's easily a, a you know high end uh, having a phone with nice resale value also. So it has all the good stuff build quality wise premiumness and everything while this is a really different phone some people call it like a business phone um, but you know as a as a as a tech lover uh, I was really interested in this phone uh, because of the uh, uh, mean Blackberry stepping inside of the world of Android for the first time uh, that that was also the fact that mm, helped me to buy this phone but the thing here is that it comes with a a really nice dual curved uh, display here and uh, unfortunately I cracked it up but uh, uh, which you should be careful uh, from the sides here you should be careful uh, but but yeah you can see here it's curved from both sides and also from the back it gives you like a leathery type of feeling it's not like cheap uh, plastic plasticky feeling so it's not like that and also you can slide the display up to uh, bring out the uh, physical keyboard which is uh, not just a keyboard it's, it's a full gesture machine you can swipe left and right uh, open up different apps uh, small uh, holding any any button like this small hold long press short press assigning different applications so it's definitely a really nice way to interact with your device and uh, I mean definitely overall you can make your Android experience more enjoyable uh, with these type of additional stuff so and also you can see here when you swipe up you can see the display going up here and it's just damn awesome and of course well on the iPhone 6s we don't get like these type of stuff like if this keyboard but we do get this 3d touch which is pretty nice uh, where you can hold on to an icon and press a little bit harder it will give you these options it works pretty well uh, lots of developers are uh, optimizing their apps making apps to work with 3d touch so it's really nice and uh, in the future, we will see a lot of uh, development on this one, on this feature here. So um, you can see here, if we compare them in terms of the hardware wise, this is where the iPhone really shines. Apple A9 chipset is definitely way faster than the Snapdragon 808. I mean, it's boot up times, it's apps opening. It's just phenomenal. The performance is, it's, is phenomenal. And I'm running the iOS 9.2 version here pretty fast actually I haven't seen any lag or anything like that uh, same thing here with this phone uh, no problem uh, this is Android of course Android 5.1.1 lollipop um, you can see here very very nice uh, looks very close to stock by the way uh, they combine the stock and uh, a little bit of their own features their app drawer is pretty nice we got widgets uh, we also have this shortcuts like 
uh, communication related shortcuts, calendar and agenda. Like it's a really nice phone overall when it comes to features and it's highly customizable. It's more customizable, of course, Android is more customizable uh, as compared to iOS. About iOS, it's just simple. Uh, you can make it customizable by uh, having jailbreak but of course not a lot of people will jailbreak their devices so um, yes yeah, it's, it's simple it's it's customizable it's uh, I think Android is more uh, a little bit more um, awesome uh, with you know how you can uh, change it pretty much the way you want your wallpaper and uh, I mean it's it's awesome Android is ahead of iOS when it comes to customization. iOS is a closed environment, but it does have more better apps when it comes to the uh, uh, App Store versus Play Store, VARs, iMovie, and all that. Some things that we have here. So you know, it's just your personal preference. If you like Android, you will enjoy this one more. Uh, but uh, yeah, this the stuff that we get here with the Prev here is this nice curved display and all that which is absent here but here we have 3d touch and the fingerprint sensor and uh, and also if we talk about uh, the um, let's see here if we talk about the camera on both phones here so this blackberry prev has this uh, nice camera which has a pretty damn awesome performance when it comes to the low light shot especially uh, where I you know when I compared them in terms of speed and camera I told you that it has this nice uh, exposure settings down below here uh, which is pretty damn awesome you can uh, uh, adjust it you can make a picture a lot brighter uh, you know it has for me I've, I've seen that it has the best low light performance I mean extreme in extreme low light shot it just makes everything bright compared to other um, high-end Android phones uh, also so and uh, while iPhone has this nice uh, little camera UI very simple to use actually and uh, you can also record 4k video with the iPhone same with the Prev here but uh, the front camera is definitely better on uh, the uh, on iPhone is 5 megapixel while here it's just 2 megapixel I don't know why the front camera is not good on the Prev because front camera is getting more important as as important as the back camera nowadays you know, because everyone likes to take selfies and all that so um, uh, in terms of the battery life this is again where I think Prev takes the lead um, iPhone has a small uh, 1715 milliamp hours of battery which I think it's 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 not performing up to the mark as compared to the Blackberry Prev which gives us a nice um, usage I mean I, I use basically Facebook and YouTube videos basically watch YouTube videos um, so it basically gives me around like 15 hours plus usage which certainly I don't get with the iPhone um, I mean, I'm not constantly watching YouTube videos, but sometimes it's on standby time. I'm pretty sure the battery life will improve a lot uh, when the marshmallow will hit uh, to this phone. Uh, we get this, those doze mode, all those cool stuff. But uh, but yeah, iPhone has a smaller battery. And also you can see here, uh, in terms of the display wise, uh, this one has a 5.7 inch quad HD display, way better here in terms of resolution. This is a retina display, uh, very, very bright. Um, yeah, it does. It does have a big, uh, better, uh, more resolution there. Uh, but doesn't mean that this display is bad. It's like the most, the most brightest display uh, ever. It looks really nice overall. So, but yeah, it's just the size, of course. Size is also a very important thing. So yeah, with the iPhone success, you get a smaller form factor, so you can easily hold it. Well, this is this can be a you know. Um, if you drop it, it can have it can cause problems, especially this curved display, uh, which I have. I have this crack on the left side, but uh, but yeah, um, you should be careful when holding a big phone. So yeah, that was a quick little comparison between these two phones here. Comparison review, talking about overall my experiences between these two phones. Like I said, it's just completely under your uh, personal preference. Uh, if you want to have like a faster phone, if you don't really care about the keyboard or the or the business or other kind of stuff that we get with the BlackBerry, then iPhone can be a good choice. And of course, if you don't mind using iOS, but if you like Android, if you like these, um, if you're really interested in this uh, physical keyboard, and if you don't really care about 
the top-notch performance, then yeah, Priv can be a nice choice. So yeah, I uh, will catch you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day.